Hello everyone and welcome to the 2021 24th IEEE International Conference on Intelligent Transportation. My name is AJ Singh and I'm a software engineering student at Thompson Rivers University in Kamloops, British Columbia. Today I will be presenting a non-linear deterministic filter for inertial navigation and bias estimation with guaranteed performance. So in today's outline, I will first start with the abbreviations used throughout this presentation. Then we will talk about the pre preliminaries. Next, I will go over the navigation problem, after which we will talk about the estimator, error, and measurements. Next, we will move on to the systematic convergence, which is a concept based on prescribed performance. Then I will discuss the navigation deterministic filter design, after which we will mention our experimental results and then conclude with the summary. Okay, these following set of abbreviations were used throughout the presentation. Here, SO3 is the special orthogonal group of the order 3. SE3 is the special Euclidean group of the order 3. SE23 is the extended special Euclidean group of the order SE3. Now let's go over the preliminaries. In this presentation, R stands for the orientation of the vehicle, and it belongs to SO3, which is the special orthogonal group of the order 3. Here, X is the navigation matrix, which includes three components, R, P, and V. R stands for the orientation of the vehicle, P is the position of the vehicle, and V is the linear velocity of the vehicle. as mentioned here. Now let's move on to the navigation problem. This figure illustrates the navigation problem where we have a set of available measurements which includes angular velocity, accelerometer, landmark position, and landmark measurement. And alternatively on the other side we have a set of unknowns such as orientation, position, and velocity. So the 3D navigation problem concerns a vehicle whose pose, that is orientation and position is unknown. Along with that, its linear velocity is also unknown. The navigation problem becomes crucial when global positioning system, that is GPS, or global navigation satellite system, that is GNSS, are unreliable. We can view the applications of navigation system in transportation, delivery, household cleaning devices, surveillance, reef monitoring, and others. Now let's talk about the problem formulation. The true navigation dynamics of a vehicle navigating in 3D space can be described by the following formula, where the left side denotes the detailed dynamics of the navigation problem, while the right side denotes the compact form of the navigation problem. The right side, which is the compact form, can be represented using this following equation over here. Again, R over here denotes the orientation, P denotes the vehicle's position, and V denotes the linear velocity of the vehicle. Over here, we can also see A, which is the acceleration vector, and G, which is the gravity vector. Omega over here stands for the angular velocity of the vehicle, and X, as we defined earlier, was the navigation matrix. Here we can see that all the red components are the unknowns. This includes X, that is our navigation matrix, over here, which includes R, P, and V, which we discussed earlier as the, uh, as the orientation, position, and linear velocity of the vehicle. Our objective in this work is to estimate x by x hat and we want x hat to be very close to our true value of our navigation matrix which is x. Inside the estimate of our x hat we also have our r hat, p hat and v hat over here. Here we need r hat to or the estimate of the vehicle's orientation to be as close as possible 
to the orientation, the true orientation of the vehicle. In the same way, we need the estimate of our vehicle's position, which is p hat, and the estimate of our vehicle's linear velocity, which is v hat, to be very close to the true position p and the true linear velocity v, respectively. So let's now see our set of measurements, which are available to us through the IMU, or the inertial measurement unit, which are given over here. Here, omega m is the measurement of the angular velocity, and am is the measurement of the accelerometer. Here, our measurements are corrupted by an unknown bias, which is denoted by b omega and ba, which are listed over here. We have a set of feature measurements available, which is yi, as in the equation, which denotes the landmark or the feature measurement and PI, which represents the landmark or the feature observation. Now let's go over our estimator error and measurements. We mentioned earlier, the estimate of X is X hat, which contains R hat, P hat, and V hat, would stand for the estimates of vehicle's orientation, vehicle's position, and the vehicle's linear velocity, respectively. They can be denoted using this matrix over here. We can consider the error between x and x hat using this particular equation where x tilde is equal to x multiplied by x hat to the power of minus 1. And we define the bias to be b tilde omega and b tilde a, where b tilde omega equals b omega minus b hat omega and b tilde a equals b hat a minus b a respectively. We define the following elements in context of the available vector measurements. And it is very important to know in regards to this assumption that the number of non-collinear landmarks available for this observation and measurement is greater than or equal to 3. Now let's go over the concept of systematic convergence. So according to these error components, we define the following error components where E is equal to E1, E2, E3, E4. And we define the following prescribed performance function to be a positive, smooth, and time decreasing function, which is this function over here. And here is the concept of prescribed performance. We have an error over here that is marked in red. We would like this error to start with an unknown large set and to reduce systematically over here and it mostly stays within a small bounded set. So we define the following transformation error EI and here is the dynamics of the transformation error where delta I equals to this following equation and mu r, mu p, delta r, and delta v, p are defined as follows over here. Now let's discuss the navigation deterministic filter design. Consider the following deterministic filter design where the left side includes the detail dynamics and the right side includes the compact form. From the above equations, w omega, w v, w a are defined as follows, whereas b hat omega and b hat a are defined over here. Now let's go over to the theorem. So consider the following deterministic filter design. Assume the availability of three landmarks or features and consider the nonlinear filter navigation design to be coupled with the following set of measurements. This way, the trajectory of R tilde converges asymptotically to I3 and trajectory of P tilde and V tilde converge asymptotically to the origin. For discrete implementation of the proposed navigation filter design, please visit our published conference paper.
Now let's discuss our experimental results. So for initialization of our measurements, we consider the data set in this reference. And we consider the estimate r hat to be equal to the identity r p hat 0 equals to v hat 0 equals to sigma hat 0, which are all equal to zeros over here. And we select the design parameters as follows. So the image in this slide represents an example of right and left feature detection and tracking performed by a stereo camera via computer vision system toolbox with MATLAB 2020B. So the photograph is adopted from a data set in the following reference over here. Okay, so the left portion of this figure illustrates the tracking convergence of the filter with respect to the true trajectory. Here we can see that the filter trajectory is denoted in the blue dashed line, whereas the true trajectory is denoted in the solid green line. So we can see a strong tracking convergence of the filter from a large error in initialization to the true trajectory. This is made clear in the right portion of the figure where we can see the error in orientation, the error in position, the error in vehicle's linear velocity. Along with this, we have the error in bias for both the angular velocity as well as the accelerometer bias. So we can conclude here that the error converges very close to zero. To summarize, this work addressed the problem of attitude, position, and linear velocity. Estimation of a vehicle traveling with six degrees of freedom using a nonlinear deterministic filter. The nonlinear deterministic filter is posed on SE2 of 3. We have proved for asymptotic stability with guaranteed convergence. And the experimental results showed robustness and fast adaptability of the proposed filter. Thank you for watching, everybody. Feel free to ask any questions.